Happy New Year everyone and welcome to Kids Worship Service. My name is Reverend Karen and as always I'm excited to be here with you today. Sorry that I'm a couple minutes late. Uh, clocks just aren't set properly. I want to begin by greeting you with the peace of Christ and so the way we do this is I say the peace of Christ be with you and then you offer it back to me by saying and also with you. So the peace of Christ be with you. Thank you. We are in the season of Epiphany, and the season of Epiphany is all about light and discovery and exploration about what it means to be a follower of Christ. Throughout this season, which is going to last for another seven weeks or so, we hear about a variety of people who are being called by God to do something in this world. Here's the thing. Every single one of us is called by God to do something in this world. And so our job, our role is to figure out what that is. What is it all about? So we're going to start first uh, with a song because I like to do that. And it's the spirit in me greets the spirit in you. So the spirit in me, there's actions. So I'm going to teach you the actions right now. The spirit in me greets the spirit in you. And then we shake our hands and say hallelujah while you spin around. Now I can't do that because I'm going to play the guitar, but I want you to spin around saying um, alleluia. And then we say God is in us and we are in God. Hallelujah. All right. Let's see if we can do this here. <clears throat> Tars a little out of tune, but we'll go with it anyways. The spirit in me creates the spirit in you. celebrating the baptism of Jesus. That's right, even Jesus was baptized. And in this particular story, Jesus went to the River Jordan where John the Baptist had been baptizing all of these people. And John knew, John knew in his heart because he had been given a message from God that someone even more powerful than him was going to come and baptize the people, not just with water, but with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit that we just talked about that greets me and you, the Holy Spirit would seal anyone who was baptized. Now, do you know what baptized is? There are probably a lot of you who have been baptized, but maybe you don't remember it because often it happens when you're a baby. Now, it doesn't have to happen at that age. It can happen at any age. A person can be 100 years old and be baptized. But what happens is that the child or the person is brought in front of the faith community. So you come up in, say, Roberts Wesley, and you're asked a series of questions. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in Jesus? And do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Now, for babies, obviously we can't answer that. So our parents answer for us. And they tell us that, yes, we believe and that we're going to raise this child with Christian values. We're going to teach them about Jesus. We're going to teach them about God and the Holy Spirit so that when you're old enough, you can choose to reaffirm those promises that your parents made. And that's called confirmation. So as you get older, you may choose to say, you know what, I, I do believe and I want to be part of this group of people who are following Jesus and God. And in that moment, you would be affirmed in your baptism. So we wouldn't use water the second time because you've already been baptized. Once you're baptized, you're baptized. But we would do a laying on of hands where we acknowledge and we 
again, seal you in the love of God uh, for something that your parents had done. So there was John standing in the river when Jesus came up. And when Jesus came, John was like, oh, I, I'm, I can't baptize you. You need to baptize me. But Jesus in that moment said, no, you, John, need to baptize me. So John did what he did for everyone else. And so he baptized Jesus with water. Now, in this particular case, they immersed Jesus. So they put Jesus into the water, into the River Jordan, three times. And once the water had covered Jesus, the heavens opened up. And the Spirit of God came swooping down, almost like a bird, swooping down upon Jesus and covering Jesus with this glorious light. Jesus was sealed in the love of God. And so now every time we baptize, we bless the water so that the water just isn't water, but it's water that has been blessed by God. And so it has this special power to seal anyone who was baptized in the love of God. So it's invisible, but it's a, by doing this in front of everyone else, we're, we're proclaiming that you belong to God, that you are part of God's world, that you are loved and precious. Um, so really, as, as people of faith, we believe that we are all important, that we are all uniquely made by God. And God doesn't make mistakes. God made us to be exactly who we are. And so I want to share a story with you today called Be Who You Are. And this is by Todd Parr. And I think it's a great story and has a great message about baptism. So let's read this together. So yes, the book is called Be Who You Are by Todd Parr. So be who you are. Be old, be young. Be a different color. Wear whatever you need to be you. Let's see all those different outfits. Remember to speak your language and learn in your own way. <laughs> the cat is eating the dog food, I love it. <sighs> be proud of where you're from and be your own family. Just be who you are. Be silly, be brave. Dance, play, discover, learn, and read. Remember to share your feelings, whether you're happy or mad, sad, silly, scared, or proud. Just be who you are. Remember to try new things and new foods. Be confident. Stand up for yourself. Be energetic. Be peaceful. Be the best that you can be. Just be who you are. Because it doesn't matter what color you are, where you are from, or who's in your family. Everyone needs to be loved. Always love yourself and be who you are. The end. So, be who you are. Jesus created an opportunity for people to be baptized, to feel the love of God surround them. And so this is good news because God doesn't want us all to be the same. God made us all very unique and very different so that we could stand out in this world. Because each of us, however we're made, brings different ideas, brings different gifts, brings a different approach to life. And every single one of us is needed in order to make this world a better place. The one thing though, that we're all asked to do, that we all have to do together, is learn to love each other no matter what. We need to accept people for who they are, not judge them, not make fun of them, not call them names, but love them for who they are. 
And so with that, um, I want to sing another song. Um, I'm gonna live so God can use me. So, anywhere, anytime. I'm gonna live so God can use me anywhere, Lord, anytime. I'm gonna live so God can use me Today we are called to remember our baptism, and if you haven't been baptized, don't worry, there's always time. But make sure it's something that you're comfortable with and this is something you want to do. I hope, um, as we prepare for our prayers, that we take time to remember what God is calling us to do, what God is calling us to share with one another. So let's ask God for some help as we answer God's call. So let us pray. Get comfortable in whatever position you're in. Let's pray. Creator God, you made us. You made us perfect in your sight, and we are your loved and beloved children. And for this, we give you thanks, God. Help us to use the skills and the gifts that you have given us to the best of our ability to make this world a better place. We are all special, we are all precious, and we all have something unique to add to this world to bring all the colors of the rainbow together. Help us to love ourselves and our neighbors as you love us. Help us not to um, be mean to other people or call people names, but to remember that every single person here on this earth, every single creature, every single animal, everything on this earth is important and is good in your eyes. God, we pray for our family and friends and ask you to keep them safe, especially during these times as the COVID numbers increase. Help us to take care of each other. We give thanks for all the people who heal and who help and who aid people who are in trouble. And we give you thanks. And we pray all of this in the words that Jesus taught us our creator who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This week, I want you to help each other figure out what you're gonna do this year to make this world a better place. And it doesn't have to be really complicated. It can be as simple as making sure you tell people why they're important to you every single day. Maybe you wanna do something nice for someone every single day. There's lots of different ways and I know that you will come up with a great way to do this. So I hope you have a good week Know that you are loved and missed, and that God is always with you. I miss you all, and I look forward to the day when we can be back here together um, playing, praying, and worshiping God.
So take care. We'll see you all next week. Bye.